Hello FlossTube! Welcome back for another weekly update. I am Annie, the Joyfield Stitcher, here on FlossTube YouTube and on Instagram. And today is Friday, November the 29th, and this is FlossTube number 29. So if that's not pretty cool that it's FlossTube number 29 on the 29th. So, I feel a little like Johnny Cash. Annie Cash in my black, all black shirt. But it is what it is, and that's what we go with today. So how is everybody's week? I hope everybody who celebrates American Thanksgiving had a blessed day yesterday, enjoyed some good food, time with family, time with friends, time with pets, time with yourself, whatever it was that may, brought you joy yesterday. Um, if you also partook in some sales today for Black Friday, good on you, and I hope you got some deals and steals. So let's see little tiny life update and then we'll get into what we're going to chat about today so let's see this is a jam-packed episode we have ffos finishes uh, i'm going to pick for the past the stash from last week which was little house needleworks believe and then we've got whips plans and stash stack acquiring some things that got added to the stash this week. So let's start with a little bit of life update. So um, this was uh, Thanksgiving week here in the US. So I was lucky enough that our school has the whole week off. So I enjoyed some time um, stitching, doing some things around the house, attempting to uh, do four loads of laundry that had kind of been put off for a while. And I'm still not finished. It is what it is. It'll get done before school on Monday. And what else? So yesterday we went and had a meal at my parents. So it was my parents, my husband, myself, joy-filled little one, and then my brother and his wife. So we had a good yummy meal. And then one of my husband and I's little traditions is um, daughter stays with the grandparents for a little bit while we go out and fight the crowd. So we throw the bows. No, we really don't. Actually, yesterday was relatively calm everywhere we went. Now, it could have had something to do with the fact that it was about 46 degrees and drizzly and a bit of a wind. Um, but we got to Target when they opened at 5. We got what we wanted there, which was just a few little things um, to kind of fill out some Christmas that I've already purchased. I try to kind of purchase along the way. Um... Then we zoomed over to Walmart and got a few things. We were literally arrived at Walmart two minutes before six and were walking back to the car by 619. I was like, success! That was Black Friday success. And then I was like, hey, we're done so early. Let's go by Michael's. So we went by Michael's, got a few things. So I got two early Christmas presents, one to myself and one from my husband. So the first of which is there was a great deal. My crafty iPad is a iPad 1, iPad mini 1. It no longer will update Good Notes, which is what I use to mark my charts. I have an audience over here. Um and so there was a deal on an iPad. So I got this is the some iPad something. But now I can finally have Good Notes 5, which is awesome. So it looks so fancy. I'm trying to find a chart that I can show you that is not um, the actual chart. So like, look at how fun and bright and... Now I have an older, from like 2016, I have an older like iPad Pro. That's what I watch, that's what I film on, that's what I watch on. It's not a big one, it's the 9.7. So this is now my stitchy crafty, oh, that's a bad light, Whew. one. The one thing I love is that I have a first generation Apple Pencil from my Pro from when I used to do illustrating and stuff on it. And so my, my Apple Pencil will work on the new one. And this is, um, this is a really beautiful leather case that I got from a, it's a planner shop. They sell traveler's notebooks, which I know a lot of stitchers love them. And this is called, uh, the company is called Foxy Fix. And they sell pen, pen cases. I don't know if they still have an Apple Pencil one. But I snagged this when they had them on sale and were like, we're going out of business. And so I have a really fancy pouch. I did um, get on Amazon and order a silicone cover so that this does not get lost. This is crucial to not get lost. 
um, and a case for that. So that is kind of being safely kept um, over there until I have a case on it. So um, that's that. So I'm filming tonight in hopes that this goes up a lot faster than the last couple of weeks have gone up. I will tell you, last week I woke up in the middle of the night because not the middle of the night, but like if my video uploads, which it was late last week, and it was a long video, and it took a long time to upload. If I fall asleep, I leave it sitting on my bedside table with the brightness turned all the way down and leave it on so it will continue to upload. Well, at some point, my loving husband came in and was trying to do the right thing and closed the smart cover. Well, the problem is I awoke shortly at some point to get up and get a glass of water or something. I don't know and error uploading video. So I started re-uploading at about 2 a.m. and it was not up until like 6 a.m. on Saturday. And for me, I'm like, I want my video to go up on Friday if I film it on Friday. So my hopes is this will be quick. I'm looking at the pile of things I have to show, like the amount of projects I worked on and things this week. I don't know if it's gonna be quick. So first things first, um, I finished excuse me, last week, Little House Needleworks Believe with the Crescent Colors Floss. And I said, hey, if you're interested in stitching it, I will pass the stash to you. So I had 26 folks um, say, I want to stitch Believe. That was the keyword I gave. So we are going to randomly generate who is going to get to stitch this. So if you are the one selected, I will go back to your original comment and respond back to you. Um, my email, I will put in the description box below. If you don't wanna wait on that, if you happen to watch my video and you're like, hey, I know I was the one that won, awesome. Send me an email, it's down below, but it's joy.filled.stitcher at gmail. So, um, random number generator. So again, we had 26 folks. That's the most I've ever had. That's pretty cool. I guess a lot of y'all wanted to. Oh, not 126, 26. Okay, so we've got, let's get this to focus. There we go. One through 26. Generate number 12. And number 12 right here is Kathy Hodge. Congratulations, Kathy. I'm so excited I get to send that to you. Kathy has been a long time watcher. And speaking of watchers, there's a lot more, hold on, my phone's sitting over here. I've got Pizza Hut tracking on my phone. So I'm, I best leave that up because we need to know when the pizza's gonna be on its way. Okay, let me get that back going. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. So, a lot more new folks this week, and I hit another milestone. Uh, I think a few days, two days ago, I said, wow, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. It was like 484, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to hit my 500. I bet I'll hit my 500, but it may be another week. Okay, I've got time to get my giveaways together. Nope. Like one day. Boom, I woke up this morning. I had 501. What an awesome feeling that was. So, I have a lot of fun floss tube friends that have either recently joined me or you've been around since moment one, which let me tell you, I know some of you have been binging and have been telling me you've been binging. I'll pray for you because some of those first videos were hot mess express. Some of these are hot mess express, let's be honest. So here's the deal. Because I've hit my 500 subscribers, I'm doing a bit of a giveaway, a subscriber giveaway. So here's the deal, there are gonna be three Three that you can, you can say you'd like to do all three of them. Standard rules apply, which are as follows. Must be 18 so I can legally have your address to send you something. I prefer you to be a subscriber and not just subscribe and then vominos. But hey, if you don't like what you're seeing, I totally get that. You have to do what you got to do. You're going to comment below with whatever the phrase is for those. Again, you can have more than one, that's totally fine. And um, it's gonna run for two weeks. So I will select the chosen participants, the ones that will receive these items, on my December 14th video. So it will not be next week, but the following week. So here's the deal. 
I have three choices, but I'm going to I'm going to do one in between each segment. So first we're going to talk about some FFOs and FOs. So I've got a fully finished object. So I finished in advance of Thanksgiving and it's got a gigantic bow and I love it. This is Grateful, Thankful, Blessed by Heartstring Samplery. And so this is stitched on 40 count. And this is Beach Brew, I believe, which is an R&R &R that I got off of 123 Stitch. It is stitched in the three called for colors. Classic color works are the green and this kind of golden orangey color, which really very well matches this bow. And then the brown is Acorn by Gentle Arts. I had a piece of this really fun cotton lace that I received, that I found at um, Joann's in that little dollar ribbon bin, and I thought it was really cute. This ribbon is some I had hanging around. It's a really pretty wired ribbon, and the candle holder is the one that Beth um, recommends in the actual pattern. This is a freebie pattern um, on her family blog. This is a freebie pattern. So my suggestion is check out the description box below because I will link it. This will be the last time I link it. Um, because I'm not gonna have it back out and so but this is the candle holder she recommends um, she actually gives you the stock number it is from Hobby Lobby and I got it two weeks ago on 50% off and it was three dollars and 49 cents so what a deal I did finish this as a pin cushion it does have crushed walnuts I actually made like a little like a little fleece like a little um, not fleece but batting beanie bean bag that's in there I laced it and then I it's in there it's not going anywhere. It's not coming out. And this sat on our um, table at my parents' house for Thanksgiving. So that was my fully finished object, and I love it. It was a super quick stitch. It was on that 40 count. Those little stitches make me so happy. Okay, so today I finished. I'm looking to see if this is my only. Yep, this is my finish. And I'm excited about it. I actually stitched on this. This was my 30-minute-a-day piece, and that has been going over swimmingly. So this piece that got finished is Plum Street Samplers, Noah's Welcome Mat, and this goes along with Noah's Christmas Ark. Excuse me, please stop kicking the tripod. Thank you. This goes along with Noah's um, Christmas Ark, and this is the freebie pattern that is on um, Paulette's blog. And she has some awesome patterns on there. In fact, I'm going to be starting her 12 Days of Christmas that are also on her blog. So again, go down below because I am going to post this. This will be the last week. This one will be posted because it's been, well, if I do a fully finish on it, it will show up one more time, but then it will not anymore. Um, and so this is one of the ones I'm giving my mom for Christmas. So it needs to be finished. I'm going to do like just a flat ornament. And then it'll have a, I'm going to probably do a stacked flat ornament. I don't even know if that makes sense. So I'm kind of debating on trims or no trims or a coordinating fabric. I'm not real sure what that's going to look like yet because this will be a full series. Um, so I did get that one finished. This lived with the other ones. This is a Be Crafty Bags. I sent her this fabric over to the UK and she finished this bag for me, the vinyl front pouch. And I figured now, I mean, I'm kind of getting a little out of order now. This also has a Bitsy Bob that holds my flosses because this will be a long-term project. I do intend to stitch all 12 of the Noah's Christmas animals and then um, obviously Noah's Christmas Ark. So I can pull this card out. This is my finished card. I'm finished with it now. So I have been working on also this week, I used it for one of my magical stitches tasks. This is from Noah's Christmas Ark 1. And I've been doing Noah's Crocs. That's what I'm calling them. And I think what I have decided after stitching this awesome border. Can you note the sarcasm in my voice? I don't. This feels very. That is upside down. I feel like Ellen. Ellen over at Maximum Cross. Which I love it because she was like, look at this pattern. And then she's like, that's upside down. That's so me, Ellen. You don't watch me. You're too, way too cool to watch me. Um, if you don't watch Ellen Reed, Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour, amazing. And her stitching is goals. All around goals. She is fast as lightning. Her needle points are insane. 
I might not have any living cats if they had done what they did to hers. Okay, I've gone off on a tangent again. Okay, after stitching this checkerboard, I have decided that all of the remaining ornaments will just have the inner charcoal. So this will be the only one I think that gets the checkerboard. Now I may change my mind, but I kind of have to commit when I do Crocs. So I am also slowly acquiring the remainder of the patterns. I did not, I have not added any more, but I think I saw one of them might be in one, two, three stitches pre-Christmas Bonanza. It's like some sale they're doing today. And I think I saw at least one of them. So what I'm going to do is go through because they're in my wish list. And usually if something's on sale on one, two, three stitch, it will sh tell you it's on sale when it's in your wish list. So that may be acquired because if I can get them even a little bit less expensive, that's helpful because these, they're not super pricey for having two charts in them. But when you're looking at purchasing six charts, it is what it is. Okay, so that was a finish and a whip. So let's talk some more whips. So this past week, I started on Saturday, Stitchonomy. And Stitchonomy, it, well, not Stitchonomy. Okay, Stitchonomy is, Alyssa is her name, and she is the designer behind Stitchonomy. She did a precious Halloween um, stitch, excuse me, oh my gosh. I got Topo Chico today, which I love Topo Chico with uh, grapefruit. But it's making me have bubbly tummy again. I need to chill. Okay. She did a really cute Halloween free sow that every day they sent it to your inbox. I'm not a Halloween stitcher. Um, in fact, I have quite a number of patterns in my D stash on my Instagram that are Halloween patterns. Um, I have a few things left, but I'm going to tell you, people came in like gangbusters and were like, me, please, me, please, me, please. And I, I mean, I priced things at pretty much what I paid for them. And I mean, but I mean, I had some cool stuff. I'm not going to lie. It's just stuff I'm not like fe feeling super joyful about anymore. And I got a lot of other stuff. I got a lot of stuff to show. Okay, anyway. Um, so, Stitchonomy is doing a winter sow, which is snowflake. So, every day a snowflake is sent to your inbox. So, so it started on the 23rd, and it runs for 27 days, possibly. Okay, anyway, a certain amount of days. And you're going to end up with this beautiful collage of snowflakes. So I have stitched all the way through yesterday's release. I have not stitched today's. I kind of been stitching every other day, so it gives me something to do. I'm not even loading them on my iPad. I'm literally pulling it up on my computer while I'm watching Floss Tube over, over here on this side. And then I'm stitching up the little things. So I'm doing this on a piece of gorgeous 18 count Mystics fabric. In, it's an opalescent. It's not a named fabric. This can be hard to show because it is going to... Um, and I'm doing my own colors. Um, it calls for six colors of DMC. I ordered those color and cotton for it. Um, and I waited to pull fabric, just kept waiting, kept waiting. And finally, I think I said in my last video, I had to, I was just going to have to do something about it. So I pulled just some variegated floss, some different flosses I've, since swapped one out because it totally blended in with my fabric and it's going to be kind of whatever um update on those flosses I ended up sending an email and I was like hey um it seems like a long time like hey I'm cool like can you just update me whatever and she was like I am so sorry apparently my order had gotten flagged that it was waiting on fabric I didn't have fabric it was just floss so what they did was they tossed them in with some fabric I did buy, which was in the ready to ship. They're calling it the stock room. It's the ready to ship stuff. I'll talk about that when I get to stash acquiring. She threw them in and then she refunded one of my shippings, which I thought was fantastic. So Angela, you're awesome. I will continue to shop with you always because your stuff is the bomb. All right, moving on. I'm looking at my list. Okay, so I worked a little bit in... This was a start from last week. This is one of my chalk pieces. And I have another chalk piece I'm going to start. Actually, I have randomness in this bag, too. I have two, another project in here that I will be pulling out because I had a start this week that I did not plan. But it just got a whim. Got a whim this week. Okay, so this is Hands On Designs. This is Thankful and Grateful. It's one of their chalk, year in chalk pieces. I love this. I am um, switching out some of the 
some of what is the pumpkin color, the pumpkin-y brown, which I am using a Victorian motto for that. Um, I'm switching out some. I'm flip-flopping some things. So here's what I have so far. I am stitching this on a piece of 36 count linen in slate. This one I found on 123 Stitch. I am loving this variegation. This is totally blowing this out badly. This is a beautiful floss and my lighting is terrible. Um, but I love how it's variegating. I love these wonky letters there. That's better. So I'm enjoying this one. Um, the other night I was trying to stitch on it. It was a little bit late and like, I had to take a minute to like reset my eyes, get my light readjusted and get something underneath to make it work right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show what else is in here. This was a new start. Because, you know, that's how I roll. This is one that is from the 2018 fall issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. This is a Lucy Beam. And this is Squirrel's Delight. Acorns are Squirrel's Delight. And I thought this was so cute. And so I am stitching this. I believe it's in the Call for DMC. And I'm doing this on a 40 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. I had this piece in my stash and it was going to work out perfectly. So I have some rails. I have some beginnings of it. I have rails. <laughs> so yeah, I got that one going a little bit and I'm enjoying that. That's a fun little stitch. I feel like once you put the first couple of stitches in those high counts, they start to make more sense. Um, but starting out, getting that first, it's like the first stitch sets, it, sets my, my own eyes and my own brain onto the squareness of the fabric. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's how my brain works. Okay, so now back to um, some homeworky stuff. So, this week for Magical Stitches was light. I think both were light. I think that Enchanting Stitching had... Stitching. Enchanting Stitching. Enchanting Stitching... Enchanted Stitching Challenges. Say that 20 times fast. I can't even say it once. Um, they had three tasks instead of four. The, the fourth task was to take to post pictures or a story. You could have up to like, I think, five points, eight points, something like that. Um, so I ended up doing all my enchanting stitching challenges first. And then if I had time, I'd come back. Because Magical Stitches was interesting because they only, they had you pick three projects, 100 stitches a piece, but then you could continue to rack up hundreds of stitches for more points. I was like, 100, I'm good. Some of them I went over. Um, but one of them that I was, I did a fabric swap on this one. So I needed to put back in what I already had plus add more. So this is Plum Street Samplers Harvest Delivery. And I was stitching this on a piece of hand dyed by Stephanie. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. But I was not loving how the colors were not popping on it. That was a double negative. So I am now stitching this. I'm looking to see if I have it written on here. Oh, it's a piece of 36 count Veteris from Mystic Fabrics. This is the Harvest Delivery um, floss set from Victoria Motto. She created her own. I think they are still available if you go to her website, her blog. She has the email where you can, e where you can email her. So I put in a little over 250 stitches. This is the beginnings of the cart and the back side of the horse and then two of these flowers. And I'm loving the colors on this even more so. Um, so I'm enjoying that. So I felt like I was backtracking by picking a new fabric and all of that, but it's okay. I'd rather, since this is one I for sure wanted to stitch, I love this cart full of all of those amazing flowers. My picture does not do it justice. Hold on, I have another picture in here. I don't know why I pulled out that dippy one. Oh, this one's tiny, but it gives a better representation of the color. Those pumpkins that have these vines with the flowers, awesome. So, now my thing is, am I gonna stitch 1860 or am I gonna stitch the year I finished it? I don't know, we'll see. So that, oh, and this lives in a, I didn't even show my bags. This one lives in a Love You More. Studio Co. No, this is not Love You More. This is Love You More Studio Co. This one is a Made by Mama Joan. And then Stitch on me is Living in a Pouch by me. Okay, let's see. Then I also worked on this one that is in a gorgeous great value project bag. 
This is Little House Needleworks Strawberries. I still don't have a picture in here of this. This is on 20 count Ada and those cute little dots. And so I put in over 250 stitches into this. Um, so I got the remainder of the strawberries, all these cute little flowers, and this bunny. Although I realized after I put in all of this in the bunny, these stitches where I counted down to from here should be over here. So yeah, I'm okay with that because I'm really only stitching these two bunny, the two bunnies, and I'm of course going to have to put this bunny far over here. I'm going to stitch a few more flowers and then we're going to call it done. Done and good. And this is another one of those that comes with the crescent colors. So I did some of that. All right, and then my last one I used for enchanting stitches and um, Aaron, to Martini Stitcher. My same project lives in this. My autumn drum lives in my French, French squirrel bag. I call them French squirrels because they're wearing funky little sweaters and acorn berets. And because snails are escargot. Okay, so I put in over 250 stitches into this precious tiny thing, and I love it. I love it. This is my autumn drum. I didn't even show the cover image. I'm a little frazzled. This is an Acorns and Threads exclusive. I watched Erin's video from earlier, and she said she was just there, and they still have some of these. I am nowhere close to Acorns and Thread. I saw it. I had to have it. I called them. They shipped it to me. It's a wonderfully priced kit for the chart. It comes with lakeside linens, 40 count. Enough. There's a piece for the top and then a piece for the drum part, the sides of the drum. And then it comes with the floss card that has all of these, oops, gorgeous silks. Silk and colors and Gloriana, I believe. Um, I may have misspoke which, which ones for sure they are. So I love this. I definitely need it. It needed some time. It reminded me how much I love it. It was my first project to ever be on 40 count. And what a way to start that. I love it. So fun. So I'm going to take a minute to pause. Alrighty, I'm back. I had to take care of the pizza situation. Um, we have a dog that loves to escape out the front door. So I have to kind of mitigate that situation. And I try to like beat the doorbell. It's like ninja. All right, so where I left off. And then after this, we're gonna talk about a giveaway. How about that? Spice things up a little bit. So then I worked um, on Rosetta for Magical Stitches, Ink Circles Rosetta. This is my Ink Circles Rosetta. I am stitching this on a 20 count opalescent Ada from Mystic Fabrics in Snert. I do link her below at least once because I have at least one Mystic Fabric <clears throat> in every video. Um, I do go more in detail, but for today's sake, I'm not going to show you all the flosses about the flosses for this in my video about my birthday starts. Um, I am doing a full Gentle Arts conversion. So I put in, oh, there's my little card. Um, I put in more up here into this motif, and I just, every stitch that I do makes this come more to life. So I had even more feedback last week about people who were like, don't frog it, don't frog it. I'm not frogging it yet. I may never frog it. I'm, I never intend to put my things up for show, so I'm cool. I am trying to get at least one task or some stitching on this every week just to continue to like enjoy the experience of it. It's a process and a journey. This lives in a so much to love pouch. Oh, my squirrels is also a so much to love pouch. And um, so yeah, I'm loving this one. This one actually just stays on my eight by 11 Q snap. And this is one of the ones that I like to stitch in my Lowry stand. My husband's doing some Lowry stand surgery this weekend. He is getting me, I can't find a long arm bar anywhere locally. And it's just very cost prohibitive to buy. He's like, I can make you a bar. So he's going to take my, it's the one that comes with it. It's the short arm. That works great for my couch in the living room. But my rocker that I sit in to stitch at night has, it's on a saucer base. And so it can't get close enough for that short arm to work. So he's going to basically buy a piece of tubing that's the same diameter. And he has bending. He has all kinds of tools. He ha he says he's going to do something. I don't know. Maybe he's going to hulk it out. Maybe he's going to do strongman. 
and been, I don't know. I don't care as long as it works. He also was is working on fashioning me an iPad mount for it out of one I purchased that did not work. And he's like, well, how much did it cost you? I said, $15. And he goes, I'll give you $15 if I can't make this work. Well, he's fashioning it into what I need. I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. All right. I showed you Noah's Crocs, which I did use for Magical Stitches also this week. And it, Oh, did I show you that? I totally didn't show you that. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't show you it. I showed you the image and I didn't show my brain is frazzled. Too much turkey. I showed you it. I just didn't show you it. So I put some more into my crocodilies. And then I put in all the snow. And this is on 36 count R&R &R in Stars Hollow Blend. And I have enough of this fabric to do all 13. I purchased it off of 123 Stitch. So I did all of these snow snowflakes I finished off the center of this flower I finished off the crocodile's eyes and this one had some patchworking it was only a hundred and some odd stitches this is going to be my focus piece for this week because these need to get finished so I can fully finish before Christmas those are for my mom for Christmas and I do talk a little bit about my tradition of giving my mom cross stitch well when I was cross stitching and then I picked that back up this last year all right, we're still going. We still got stuff to show. Spent some time with Hoity Toity this week um, for Magical Stitches. This lives in my brain fart, my Kindred Stitcher bag. This beautiful hydrangea and raspberry Kindred Stitcher bag. She sells them on her Instagram. They are very hard to get. I had ninja fingers. Um, and this, if you are not familiar, is a long dog sampler. This is hoity toity. This is my epic lifetime project. <laughs> Although it's trucking along a lot faster, I've come up with a system that works for me. I am stitching this in the Mrs. Sadoff silks. I do link them below. I also have an entire video going way more in depth. Amazing. And she was like, I don't have anything to send you for your 500 subby sub giveaway. And I was like, that's okay have to send me anything you're just a dear 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 person generous beyond measure let's be honest um she has a new christmas set of her silks it's a red and a green and this variegate uh -huh. or red and a gold and then a variegated green and brown it looks so cool yeah that's one's gonna have to come to me at some point yeah. um so this week i only put in about 100 stitches I had intended to get more into it, but with family time and then today and just didn't happen. So I did this little cool, I mean, I'm going to be perfectly honest. It kind of reminds me like of a Star Wars TIE fighter. Like if you were to fold the fins down flat. A little bit Millennium Falcon. Also a little bit croissant. <laughs> that's a croissant. I love it. I just realized that's exactly what it is. That's a croissant. No fancy cross stitch can be without a croissant. croissant. Anyway. Love it. Most beautiful bag. Actually, that's not true. I love all my bags. I love all my bags. I might have bought another bag today because it was posted and I was like, oh, I want that bag and the things that come with it. So that will be on a video maybe next week. We'll see if it gets here. Okay. I talked about Squirrel's Delight, which I started randomly on Wednesday. The last two, three things, oh my God, three things I have to share. So I, I start, my actual Thanksgiving start is Plum Street Samplers Gobble Gobble. Erin, you stitched on your turkeys on Turkey Day, and I started the turkeys on Turkey Day. We are separated at birth. So I started this last night. Too much turkey and too much Black Friday shopping meant that I already jacked something up. So you can see my frogging right here. So I got a turkey with no eyes. I got a top turkey body and a little bit more turkey body. Did not have to perform the Heimlich, but I thought I might have to. I had a very loud coughing child. Okay. Thought she'd like swallowed something wrong. Um, so when I was stitching this part of the turkey, ugh, 
it was one stitch off so I had to like frog it so yeah oh great the husband's coming downstairs now so this is a hey I'm filming a video and I've already had to pause it like because the child was choking and the pizza delivery so like shh all right so this one lives in a diddly daddle in hand stitcher bag this is the one with the really cool scissors and sharp pointy implements I know it's supposed to be a pair of scissors but it looks like a medieval stabby device so anyway this is on a 32 count pictures plus in oaken it's a fun one to start and I think I have two more things to share oh my gosh I worked on a lot of stuff this week I was all over the place all right, so the next one I'm going to show is lives in my Love You More Studio Co. pouch. This is Squirrely Welcome. I do that fast because it's my pattern. It also has my Snibatty from Caddy Cross Stitch. And they have hats. They now have hats. Look at those hats. Oh, my gosh. So I went ahead and fin it, filled in the rest of the sarsaparilla. I think I had that last week. I don't remember. Then I ended up realizing I wanted a different color. I originally had the hats and the acorn top in the same sarsaparilla. I switched this to old oak tree. And then um, I went ahead and did this right here in old oak tree. And then I, this is the dimensions of the box. So I have the bottom and the side to do. And then it will say welcome. And then I'm debating on if I'm going to add in the bottom dots. I don't know that yet. So, this one is getting close. This is on a 36 count XJU Designs fabric in Little Dove. Should have done this one last because it's part of my giveaway. Okay, I busted out this week Tranquil Tulips. I have not had this out in a while. So, this is Heaven and Earth Designs Quick Stitch Tranquil Tulips artwork by Hannah Disney love it and um, this lives in a container store sweater bag it's perfectly I am stitching I did I just lose my needle boy they I must step on that later um this is on 18 count easy grid I am using one of my new Garonne Tilton bags uh, grime guards this does not have it doesn't match the project at all um this is the 11 by 11 and this is an 8 by 11 Q staff and it fits nicely. It's got some wiggle room, but that's good because I've got a whole ton of fabric in this corner over here and it's holding it lovely. Also has my um, wood nickel. Um, I've got some floss hanging out here. So I went ahead and started putting back in some stitches in this and I'm going to tell you what has helped me with that. And it's on this little device. So I've had this little dippy seven inch. I mean, it's not dippy. I mean, it's a very nice tablet. It's Amazon Kindle. Kindle Fire 7 HD. I think they had them for like $29 on um, Black Friday. Lots of places, including Amazon. And um, so, yeah. Hello. I am using, holy, hold on. What happened? Home. There we go. It's trying to show me ads for Toms. I don't I don't need Toms of Maine, whatever. I am using the amazing where is it? Pattern keeper for this. The pattern keeper. I need to charge that. Um so that has helped greatly because you're able to like mark check there's lots of great videos out there. I did watch a couple. This also has this is a bags plus. Um this is a 90 pocket. Um it's not the pro. Erin has the pro. This is just the 90 pocket. It goes straight like this. Look at this color palette though. Look at all the blues. All the blues and the pinks and the other things. Has the scissor fob, has the pin slot which I don't have anything in because I'm I use my um, iPad apparently I'm doing something on the iPad that is making or the tablets making going blah, 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 blah. all right I think we've had enough cut take two I don't edit I splice them together but I don't edit 
So unfortunately, you're going to live through all the glory that is this video. But however, I'm about to chat about one of my giveaways. So which giveaway should I talk about first? There are going to be three. You can enter for all three. Um, out of fairness, if you are drawn for, I will do a random drawing for each one. If you get drawn for the, a second one after already somehow winning the lotto and getting the first one, um, I will choose someone else. That's just out of fairness. So let's chat. The first one I'm going to do, or save the best for last. Okay, that's my own bias. Let's just put it that way. Um, giveaway number one. So um, I will give you a keyword in just a moment. It will be a $15 virtual gift card from Etsy because there are so many amazing pattern designers out there on Etsy. Um, and it's a $15 gift card. So if you would like to be entered to win the $15 gift card, you need to put in, the, just in your comment, Etsy. Okay, so I'm going to look for the word Etsy. Um, and it, I always like using mannerly words. So if you want to say Etsy, please, that would be wonderful. That lets me know, hey, they're not just saying Etsy, like where to shop. I already know to shop there. I already spent enough money there. I haven't spent any money there. To, oh, yes, I did. I was about to like clap myself on the back. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about plans and then we'll do giveaway number two. All right, big plans. So tomorrow we are going myself, the daughter, her little friend, her little friend's mom, and then my mom are going down um, about two hours south of here. They have the Texas Star Railroad that turns into a Polar Express experience. Like you have to buy tickets in July for this thing. And we have a dear friend of ours who is a thank you to my mom for helping with a wedding and a baby shower. She gifted this whole experience. So we're going to stay in um, her family's home in this city and go and do the Polar Express experience. There's a, apparently they turned the old, super old town jail, like it's not a real jail anymore. It's just like historically there into the Grinch's lair and you have to get tickets for that. So that's something else cool. So we're doing that tomorrow. I am in charge of driving and it's supposed to rain the whole way there and pretty much the majority of the day tomorrow. So that kind of stinks. But I think it'll be fun. It's supposed to not rain by the time we're ready to go to the train. We're going to hang out and do. There's just got some little activities for the girls to do. Little one is so beyond excited. So is her friend. They're going to have a blast. It's kind of their first little girl trip kind of a thing. I love her mom. Like, it's going to be super fun. But that also means probably, like, zero stitching tomorrow. But that's okay because I'm going to make up for it on Sunday. I have um, two new starts planned on Sunday. I have spoken before about how our family celebrates Advent and the season of Advent. And I'm not going to go into a bit, bunch of detail about it, but I am going to start, um, and I did not bring it over here with me, so you'll see it next week. you see it next Friday. Um, for my Advent stitch, I'm going to pick 30 minutes of the day, which probably will mean I'm going to get up 30 minutes earlier in the morning, or it'll be the last thing I stitch on before bed. Um... It's my Big Toe Designs Prince of Peace. It's a beautiful piece. It is stitched in only two colors, and I have a gorgeous under-the-sea fabrics uh, for it. I purchased that at uh, Stitches from the Heart in San Antonio. I am also going to start this Sunday, and my goal is to finish it within one week. Maybe not fully finished, but I would love to have the piece actually finished. They're small. It's Heartstring Samplery's Advent Candle Ornaments, and so I'm going to start with number week one's ornament uh, on Sunday. This week, I also have Barbara Anna Bingo starting, and if you have not watched one of my previous videos, I chat a tiny bit more about it, but I have nine Barbara Annas I am starting this month because I have all these amazing Barbara Anna patterns and I couldn't pick, and so I'm going to start them up. And then I have a little bingo board, and as I finish, as I get them finished and mark them off, I'd love to finish them all by the end of 2020. We'll see. And then also, I do have a planned start... I don't know, it's on my calendar, but I am going to start the next in that chalk series. I'm not doing all of them, but there is a Christmas one, and it's called, um, it's the Peace on Earth one, and I'm going to um, work on that one this month. And then I have a couple of ornaments I'd like to start that I got stuff for today. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then ultimately, at the end of the month, the 26th and on, I am starting Plum Street Samplers 12 Days of Christmas. Again, that's a free 
pattern series on her blog, on Paulette's blog. Um, and I'm going to start one a day. It's counting as one whip though. I don't, I'm not adding in 12 more whips, but it's going to count. Um, but I'm going to put some into each, each day. And I have this fabric I got that I love and I, the two floss I picked are awesome. I do so so myself. And then ultimately looking forward to January 1st, I have, I have a for sure new year, new start. It came today in the mail and I'm going to talk about that right now after I talk about my second giveaway. So my second giveaway is going to be another e-gift certificate. However, this time it's going to be from my, one of my favorite places to shop where I get pretty much anything you want to find, you could probably find other than Etsy. And that would be one, two, three stitch. So um, you will receive a $15 e-gift certificate to one, two, three stitch. Um, so yeah, and in order to claim that one, you're gonna say stitch or stitch please. So again, if you would like the Etsy gift certificate, $15, that would be Etsy, please, or Stitch, please, for the one, two, three stitch. And then we will, in a moment, we'll kind of break up stash with the third giveaway. I'm holding out on you. I'm a little mischievous today. I am a little Johnny Cash, so I gotta be a little mischievous. I gotta walk the line a little bit. That was cheese. That was cheese. All right, so my, my new year, new start came today. Courtesy of one of my viewers, Barb, I believe is her name. And she messaged me, or she commented last week, that she would love to stitch Carrot Forest. Carrot Forest, if you are not familiar, is a kit um, that you can get from Al Forest Embroidery. Um, you don't have to stitch it in their flosses or with their, their um, fabric or anything of that nature. Um, but you cannot purchase it as a chart. And she asked... Like, not to purchase it from me, but she said, would you do it in trade? And I said, sure. Like, I'm cool with that. I hadn't really decided what I was going to do with it because I didn't really feel right about selling it because it's not the whole kit. Anyway, so she said, hey, so she sent me an email. She said, hey, send me a link to a chart on 123Stitch. I'll buy it. I'll send it to you. And I said, okay. And so kind of as a surprise to myself, I sent her two off of my wish list. So I didn't know it was arriving. It came today. And so I'm really excited with the one she picked. It was the one I really wanted. It was the one I really wanted. The other one was a prairie schooler that I'll probably end up buying like today. But I'm so excited about this. It's another My Big Toe Designs. And I saw this and I was like, oh. And there's a song um, that we listen to on, well, Christian Pandora or The Message, which is the F Series XM, or our local Christian radio station, is a song about Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Well, it's an old hymn. But they've come out with a new. But it's great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. So. That's all I have needed. Thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Okay. I'm going to stop now. But look at how beautiful this chart is. Those Quaker motifs. Great is thy faithfulness, and it has morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. So this is my big toe designs. Great is thy faithfulness. And I'm going to start this. It calls for only four gentle arts. One, two, three stitches out of all of them. Everybody's going to stitch great is thy faithfulness. They do have the fabric. It is on 32 count Belfast in blacks, but I'm going to probably try to find once I get the flosses. I have the DMC conversions for them, and so I may just kind of see what I have in my stash of fancy flosses that are close. Um, I don't want to do DMC. I want to make it a little fancier than that. I don't think I'll buy the Gentle Arts. So this is happening, and then I will pick a piece from my stash for it. So thank you. That was a fun, fun, fun surprise to open that today. So we're going to break up stash. So we're going to talk a little bit about this massive pile that's over here. I promise I will blow through this like nobody's business. All right, so I happened upon, um, I had been wanting to order from Kitten Stitcher, Shakespeare's Peddler, slash Shakespeare, off her website. She had a little thing in the corner that said, and she said, it's still there. I looked, and I'll link it below. That half off of anything in the clearance section. I was like, hmm. -hmm. All right, so the first thing I saw, and I was like, this is so cute. It comes flat, so I had to put it together. I did hot glue it, so don't judge if there's hot glue but this is by the B company she has some other cute stuff by this company I may go back and see if there's anything else um and then it's in Fabrique en France 
and it is this precious little white chipboard birdhouse and I think this would be adorable if for a finish and I'm going to show you what I think like I just had a brain brain blast of amazingness I have some little a little bird chart that could be really cute with birds on it okay anyway now this they tell you put a piece of ribbon or twine in because you put this side on put your ribbon or twine then you put the other side because you can't do it once it's together I remembered I had this gorgeous Barbara Al creations um hand dyed silk ribbon and uh, peach kiss this was sent to me when I ordered some fabric from her she this was the freebie and so I just went ahead and put that on there I love it. this is beautiful ribbon by the way she has some gorgeous look at how gorgeous that ribbon is so anyway cute little bird house it said wood glue I said hmm, not glue that works so I grabbed that I snagged that and it was half it was half off of whatever the clearance was good deal and then I saw these two, well and then she sent me a freebie I'm not going to show you the chart but it's a cute little card and that's the other stuff I got and um, it had freebie now I purchased these because these are the little kits for these but this is Shakespeare's Peddler's basket of red white and blue which I think is so cute and then this is basket of eggs and they had them as PDFs and then they also had them as the uh, it has the fabric and the floss. This one has the uh, linen floss and the cute little button. This one I think probably has the button as well. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, these were half off. But me, Ding Dong, read what the description said and said, hey, this doesn't come with the chart. Chart must be purchased separately. Chart's in here. Here's the only bad thing. I purchased the PDFs and I think I deleted the email. And it's not in my trash anymore. So those might be gone. So I had intended to give away the paper copies past the stash because I had the PDFs. I have to find them first. So pay, pay close attention because those might be coming if I can find the email. Or I can reach out. And I, I suck. And deleted the email because I'm dumb like that. All right. I got my color and cotton flosses from... Trish at Threads and Twined, and I just love that I can get them in alphabetical order. I don't know if anybody's shown these yet, so I will real quickly, Barnwood, Barn Red, Battleship, a Begonia, which is pretty, um, Belize, that's really pretty, um, Bellflower, oops, Bellflower, Bermuda, I'm getting close here. Bing Cherry, it's a beautiful Christmassy red. Black Walnut, great neutral. And Blue Hydrangea, this is a great, very, what is wrong with my lighting? Okay, it's a great blue and purple variegated. Okay, I love that she sends them on the floss string. My floss strings are getting a little full on this side. I need to put those in my spreadsheet. Get rid of that crinkly paper nonsense. Um, fantastic customer service. Not going to go into a long, lengthy repertoire of that. All right. I ordered some more fabric. I ordered some more fabric. Um, I ordered a big piece of 40 count linen in Malo by Wichelt or Swigert. I think it's Swigert. And I just realized it's in a project bag over there because it's for my 12 days. Here's that piece of fabric. I'm not going to go get it. Um, I ordered these and that big swath of fabric. Big old piece of fabric. Um, with a stitchy kindness from Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. So I ordered three more pieces of that slate because I had enough for Grateful Thankful, Peace on Earth, but then I got those three other ones. So I went ahead and while I was thinking of it, I got three more pieces. So I have enough for all of those now, unless I find more than I need to stitch and then I'll order more. These are super reasonably priced. Then they had a bunch of lakeside linens they had just restocked. So mama scored some pieces. So this is a 40 count in Sea Storm. Beautiful. This is a 36 count in Vintage Maple Sugar. And I just got small pieces because with these larger counts, 
they work great with some of my smalls. And this is a 36 count tarnished silver. And after these came in, I will confess, I went back and bought some more. So those will be coming Monday, I believe. You cannot beat. When they restock those lakeside, you gotta snatch them up. Oh, Long Dog Stitcher. I don't know if you're gonna watch this. You usually watch my videos, and I watched yours, and it was awesome. And when you showed the lakeside midnight, I did fast fingers and went, maybe it's still available. It was. I got some. Yay. So that's coming. All right, let's see what show next. Um, let me show half my Victorian motto and then I will do the third giveaway. All right, so this month I decided to go ahead and add in Vic, uh, Nancy, who is Victorian motto sampler shop. I get her primitive and limited edition flashes. I get six of each. Um, I went ahead and added in her fabric because I've heard amazing things. So I got a 36 count of her fabric of the month and it is a beautiful neutral like camel color. I'm loving it. I do get the fat quarter. So I will continue with that because it is gorgeous. I am reevaluating some of my things I'm going to participate in next year. I know that I am going to back out of Misty at Mystic Fabrics for a little bit um, because I'm leaning more towards the neutrals and I have lots of brights in my collection and something's got to give. Um, and I did decide to participate in the picture of this plus one from Crazy Annie's. So I'm going to be getting my Ada from that. I also did go ahead and take a break from um, Under the Sea Fabrics for a little bit. I may rejoin later on or something and swap out some other things. I think I maybe got into the Bag of the Month Club from So Much to Love. And that's just going to be my only bag I get. Unless I complete projects on my bingo Okay, so this is the Primitive Floss Club, and this is a gorgeous month. I'm not going to lie when I tell you this is a gorgeous month. Let me, um, this may blow it all out. Look at how pretty those are. So you've got Pine Evergreens, and I know everybody gets di sometimes different ones. This is Iceberg. This is Plum Pudding. Look how pretty that is. This is Through the Woods, which is a pretty green and variegated brown. I did not mean, mean to just shoot you the bird. Ghost Town, great prim, and Raspberry Truffle. That might be my favorite. I don't know. It's hard to tell you what my favorite is. All right. And then I also get six of the limited editions. I am going to see if I can maybe for the time being drop down to three of each. I don't know if that's even an option. Okay, this is the limited. And I'm going to tell you, I scored for Christmas stitching with the limited this month. Look at that. Two greens, a light blue, a gold, a brown, and a red. Okay, so, whoops. Prim Holiday Cherry. Golden Oaks. That was a terrible way to show that. Golden Oaks. This is Christmas Pines and Eastern Skyline. Beautiful. And then we got Mistletoe and Ivy and Mysterious Mauve. Or Mauve. And I know it said brown. It's really, it's got a good purple tint to it or like a taupe. All right, so that's my Victoria. That was all my Victoria motto. I'm sorry, I said I was going to split it up. I lied. All right, ready for the third giveaway? Okay, so the third giveaway is the most special to me because I am getting close to a finish on Squirrely Welcome. It is my most favorite pattern. I love this one. This is my Jeremiah 2911. I love that one. That one is coming to my Etsy shop next week. Um, I just have not gotten it done and I'm running out of time. Um, but however, so here's what you're going to get. I went to my local LNS today. I'm going to share some stuff I got here in a minute. And so you are going to get, if you enter this giveaway, you will get the PDF chart of Squirrely Welcome and you will get the flosses that I charted it in, the fancy flosses. You will get the, um, I think it's two gentle arts and three classic color works. Ba, ba, da, ba. So yeah. So if you would like to win Squirrely Welcome before it is released to the public with the fancy flosses, no, no fabric, because I did not want to have an Ada and a linen and an even weave. So it's the chart the flosses, the fancy flosses, and then you find your linen that you would like, linen, Ada, even weave, whatever it is you would like to stitch it on. That's up to you. So if you would like to win that, that's the third giveaway. You will say, I would like, or squirrels, please. So again, to recap, 
Etsy gift certificate, e gift certificate, fifteen dollars. That is Etsy, please. One two three Stitch gift certificate is Stitch, please. Or if you want to win advanced copy of Squirrely Welcome by Joyfield Stitches, uh, that is my company name. Um. And the fancy flosses that are called for. Um, I will have a DMC conversion when the chart is released, but it will have also the fancy, um, which is what I stitched mine in. Then you will put squirrels, please. So if you're like, I don't need to see more stash, I don't need to be more enabled, I'm good. I've seen all three giveaways. But if you're ready to like stick around for some more awesomeness, that would be fantastic. Okay, so real quick, we're going to blow through this. Crazy Annie Stitchings had some clearance albums or some sale albums to kind of clear out some things. So she had a whole selection of With Thy Needle and the Thread Brenda Gervais charts. Actually, I think these may just be Bridge Gervais. Okay, so I got this one. This is a Stitch in Time. And this is a pinball needle and scissor thing and I just love that so much I've been eyeing this one can you tell why it has a squirrel this is autumn in Baltimore and then the last one again I snagged this one it got four squirrels on it it's got a quartet of squirrels and this is acorn gathering sewing roll ba -ba -ba -ba. love it so I got those three. They were like 25% off. So pretty good deal. All right, then I did get my fabric of the month from Mystic Fabric. So spoiler alert, if you have not received yours yet, close your eyes. Uh, this month it's called Sugar Plum. I get the any Ada. So this month I got an 18 count Ada. And it is this beautiful orchidy, purpley awesomeness. And she said, well, sorry, I picked the name out if it doesn't match. That is Sugar Plum to me. Kind of, I think, what Sugar Plum wore in um, The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. If you never watched that movie, it's a pretty good one. All right, then, from Color and Cotton, these were some of the flosses I ordered for some projects that I subsequently, like, I ordered some of these to do Grateful, Thankful, Blessed. I didn't wait. So I ordered some blues and grays. So here's some blues I ordered. These are really pretty. So I'm going to end up with duplicates because since I'm doing the alphabetical ones, I actually think I already have a duplicate, so maybe watch for these to come in a past the stash kind of a thing, or a de-stash kind of a thing. So then I've got Battleship, which I just had in my monthly, um, Hazel Brown Seaweed, and then I got two of Pearl, because I thought that was pretty close to the chalk. Well, then I realized I had a chalk, and I wanted to start the chalk one, so I went, never mind, never mind that. So that, one of those pearls was supposed to be for Grateful Thankful Chalk, Thankful Grateful Chalk, whichever way it goes. And this was supposed, Terracotta was supposed to be for the chalk and also for Grateful Thankful Blessed. So it didn't get here. I stitched it. I survived. I love both of them, how they're coming along. Then this is Hunter, Oceana, and Mist. Some of these were for the Snowflake Sal, the Winter Sal. I'm good. So these came, and then she had posted in the stock room. Most everything in there I looked today because I looked before I filmed this since I knew I was going to talk about it. It's pretty much sold out. I think there is some of the green. So these, I ordered some more of the fabrics that came with the Harvest Mystery Box because I loved both colors. They are the Ada, so I went in and ordered the linen variety of both of them. I did just get the, I think it's an eighth yard, a 13 by 17 inch piece. So I got, I think there is some of this. This is Cauldron Bubble. And I got a 36 count. And then the Tombstone, which is an awesome cool gray. This is a fantastic one. This one I think is pretty, I think this one is sold out. They had a lot of the flosses too, but they're pretty much all sold out also. Um, in the 40 count. So I got those. And so those shipped with my flosses, like super fast. All right, XU arrived today. Thankfully, I was home to accept it. I got a little extra freebie. I got this beautiful red silk. And then she sent me a cute little chart she designed. That's so cute. Silent night, all is calm, all is bright. So that's super cute. And then I, or I had actually custom ordered from her this cut. This is Fall Beauty. I think I'm going to use this for those two hands-on designs that called for Jack's Rum. I love this even more now seeing it in per person. 
Look at that. Man, that's like vibrant. Her fabrics smell really good too. And it's got some greens in there. Some modeling of green and gold and yellows and beautiful. So I, I ordered a 36 count and I ordered enough for both those projects. So I ended up, I think, with a fat quarter of this. No plans to start those, but I reached out to her and she said, sure I can. I thought she might say, oh, in a couple months or so I went ahead and jumped on it. And she does a free shipping over a certain dollar amount. So I ordered this and then I went ahead and added in this beautiful 40 count. This is in old linen. I am a sucker for gray, any kind of gray, but this one's a warmer gray, like Little Dove. Here's Little Dove. Here's old linen. This one's a cooler gray. This one's a warmer gray. I love all grays. And it really does sometimes make a big difference when you see, like, your, you pull flosses and stuff, um, and they'll just sing and pop on certain colors, and some colors it's like, no, that just muddies the waters too much. All right, so today, I, um, my local LNS, which I love, they are such wonderful folks. Kim and Debbie own it. And Steve is the framer. It's called the Stitch Niche in Arlington, Texas. So if you're ever down my way, please go visit them. They are amazing. They carry beautiful linens. In fact, Debbie just got back from the attic and brought back fabrics with her. And so I got to see some like beautiful things. Beautiful things I did not buy, but beautiful things nonetheless. So I obviously set about to get the flosses for Squirrely Welcome so I could share those with somebody. But they did, so today is, I'm wearing black on Black Friday. They have a Black Friday sale. However, they are so creatively, cleverly cute. They call their Black Friday sale DMC 310 day. DMC 310, that's my child, playing with the other child, aka my husband. DMC, DMC 310 sale. I love that. Okay, so a couple of things. I'm going to show these quickly. I'm at like an hour and a billion at this point. They had, the last time I was in there, which was maybe back in September or October, they had a sign up for an exclusive ornament kit. I don't, I didn't take a picture. I need to see if there's one on their website. But it came with the linen. It's over one on 28 count. This will be a new adventure for me. These beautiful flosses. It is DMC, but look at how gorgeous that palette is. That's a beautiful fabric. It came with the finishing pom-pom from Dames of the Needle. It came with finishing instructions, and it came with some little beads, and then it came with the chart. And it's in this cute little baggie with, like, evergreen trees on it. So it is an exclusive to the Stitch Niche. Um, it is while supplies last. I know they were, um, they had a lot of them today, but like, you know, a lot of people that had signed up, they were like, hey, are you wanting your kit? And I was like, yes. I was wondering about it. Um, but one of the other fun things they do is when you're ready to check out, they let you pull your discount from the bucket, either 20, 30, or 40%. And it includes the sale things. So I might've gone a little crazy in the sale charts. This one was not a sale chart, but it was a model on their Christmas tree. I pretty much will stitch anything that says joy. That's my thing. So this is an Abbey Rose design. This is Share the Joy of Christmas. And I love that poinsettia, that Quaker poinsettia and how the lettering is. It's just a pretty pattern. So I got that. This is one that's been on my wish list for a while. This is the Acorns Fall from Cricut Collection. And this one was in the sale bucket. I love that the acorn is a sailboat. Shall I grace you with come sail away? Come sail away. Any sticks fans out there? Mr. Roboto? No, I like sail away though. Okay, so you remember the birdhouse? Look at how cute. Now, I don't know. I kind of love how they did this, but there are some birds on this that are a geniusly cute. This is the tr this is the trilogy, and this is Giggly Wigglies, Birds and Tweet. Look at that. So cute. So let me tell you, my favorite, I love cardinals. This bird with these amazingly long legs is me. That's what my husband says, because I have really long legs. And I love this little squished up bluebird. He's like, I'm stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. Why does Stash always end up with me reminiscing with song? She had a ton of Kathy Barracks on sale. Ton. So I, I've been jonesing after this one. I got bird study. I love it. 
I will likely not stitch the name at the bottom, Audrey Sparrow, but I will stitch a study of birds. Cause like Cardinal Swan, that funky owl and that amazing peacock that looks like he has grandma's afghan on his backside. Kathy Barrick is a genius. So much so, she had, this is another one. I actually almost bought this in D-Stash for over full price. Got it on sale. Blue Spruce. I love that. That owl, that crow, that deer. Uh, it has a squirrel. And then I saw this one. This was another one that was on sale. This is a Liberty Bell, also by Kathy Barrick. And I like this one. I don't know that I'll finish it in a bell shape. But I love that the finish includes that nickel. I think that's really cool. See? Includes the nickel, like the Liberty Bell. Then they had a whole stack of these nostalgia patterns from Rosewood Manor. And I just, I picked the ones that I really liked. This is Nostalgia 1. And a couple of things that I like. You're kind of probably going to see. Well, Annie, of course you like it. It has squirrels. Duh. Um... It has these. These are in hoity-toity, and I love stitching them. I love these little pheasanty birds in these cool spindly trees. I think this is a whole series you can stitch together in its alphabets, but I love this one. And then I saw, I was watching Sunshine, Sunshine Stitchers, and they had that cross-stitch nation that I think is such a fun pattern. And I saw this, and I feel like this is like cross-stitch nation, too. Don't those look like fancy little stitcher women and men? Okay, maybe that's just me. They're really princes and princesses, but they can be stitchers and has peacocks and has birds. So yeah, and I will chart that, rechart that with my initials, because you know. Can't leave well enough alone. All right, so then, that was all my charts. I pulled some fabrics and some flosses. So I had been talking about this one, and I have had this fabric in my cart for one, two, three stitch. I put it in, I took it out. I put it in, I took it out. I put it in, I took it out. Today, I was like, if they have it, I'm going to buy it. They had it, I bought it. This is a terrible photo, but this is hands-on designs. Pomegranate pocket and pincushion. I am going to stitch the pocket. Um, it calls for weeks dye works and 30 count. They didn't have 30 count, but they had 32, which is okay because I don't know that I'm going to for sure finish it like that pocket. I may just do like a little pincushion or something. I don't know. So I got a piece of Aztec red for that. I already had already had three of the call for. I already had a gold. It's a gold of some kind. It's a gentle arts and an oatmeal. I have those. And it called for Weeks Dye Works Tatanka, Tatanka. But it's like 3021. So I'm gonna use that. But it does call for Bayberry, and I wanted this pretty green. This um, gentle arts Bayberry. So I snagged that. And I think the thing that I love most about this, and people were asking what I was stitching it on. I said, I love this rickrack and the detailing on the rickrack. I love it. It's got a lot of French knots. It's going to challenge me and make me want to throw up. I'll watch a tutorial. So this one is currently in my kitting section of my craft room. I have two tubs. And this one is going to go back in there when I am done filming. But I wanted to show you all the pretty things um okay so then i also went ahead and while i was in there i have i'm ready i'm not ready to start this but i did have fall bounty berries so i said okay this is another one that if they have the fabric i will go ahead and get it it is the 28 count weeks dye works gingham i think it calls for straw but she pulled the straw and she pulled out cocoa cocoa was hands down they're very similar but this one has a warmer tone and the, the checkerboarding, the gingham, is more prominent, which may mean I need to swap out some flosses. That's okay, because this is Weeks Dye Works flosses. My husband goes, why don't you want to buy those? I was like, I, it, they're just not my favorite. I like classic color works. I like gentle arts. I love color and cotton. I love Victoria Motto. I don't need to stitch in Weeks Dye Works. I try to find something else if it's there's nothing comparable, because there are some, but it's really hard. Then I just go with the Weeks Dye Works, and I grin and bear it. All right, this is a precious a little, this is one of the ornaments I want to start this month. And this is from Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments 2017. This is by My Big Toe. And this is a Savior Has Been Born. It's a cute little ornament. 
So I did pull the called for flosses. It's a gorgeous palette. Everybody's like, Ugh. I was like, I know, beautiful. So it calls for some gentle arts. Look at how rich those colors are. And I asked her, it calls for a lakeside linen she did not have. Um, so I said, hey, what do you have that kind of looks like, she had one that was a 46 count that was beautiful. I said, what do you have in this tone? So she pulled out, this is a hand dyed by Stephanie in Colonial Parchment. And I ended up getting a double cut of what I needed because I think this is a great neutral. And I will, um, I will stitch one of these on there and then I will either stitch a second one because it could be great to gift to someone or um, use it for something. Cut it, cut it and then serge it or um, stitch it on the edges because my serger is nonsense. All right, I think I have one more thing to show and I think I'm done. All right, so this is another Just Cross Stitch magazine um, ornament. This is from the same 2017 issue. This is a hands-on designs, Kathy Haberman. This is joy. Joy, joy, joy. Down in my heart. It calls for 28 count, picture this plus, in Phoenix. They didn't have 28, but they had better. I didn't really want 28. They had 32. So this is Phoenix, and that is way... Stop that. This is really cool because when you see it like that, you don't see all the tiny colors in there. It calls for Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts. I happen to just want to convert it to Classic Color Works because I liked these and they looked, they were very close. This is so fun though. Look at this color palette. That's way blowing that out. Okay, anyway. I love it. So this one we get started too. Those two are not going in the bucket in the office. They're going to go in here somewhere. In my stitchy room. Um, I actually have two Ikea trolleys that house my whips on top. And then it houses a few of my like projects that are going to get started pretty quickly. Um, oh, and you know what? I have two more things in here. I went ahead and grabbed another chalk because they had it. A chalk. And I, I was so excited because I was like, they never have hick sticks. They never have hickory sticks by Classic Color Works. And, oh, I met Cozy Egg. I was like, I know you. She's like, you do? And I was like, uh, you floss you? I'm not cool like you, but you're awesome. She shops the same stitchy spot. They had hick sticks. She found it for me. She's the hero. So that's going to get added into my stash. Stash. My... My drawers of, of floss. All right, so I have rambled and rambled and blambled and blambled and chatted and whatever. So again, thank you to all of you who come back week after week, watch me, listen to me ramble, look at my stitching, provide such encouraging feedback. Um, I love this community. I love this. I am trying to do my best to comment on more of your videos um, because I do want you to know that I'm watching. I'm enjoying what you're putting out there. I'm enjoying every moment of it. It's just, I hate to say this, when I watch them on the big screen, there's not a good commenting function. So sometimes, though, if I see something and it resonates with me, I'm going to jot down a note and I go back when I'm on my iPad or my phone or my computer. Um, you'll also notice that I have to because I do a lot of my commenting, like responding to comments on my computer. I have to go back into old school emojis. You remember back in the day where you do like the smiley emoji? Well, just in case you did not know this, and you're not like super cool and nerdy like myself. The this with the number three is a heart. I'm so cool. <laughs> said said no one ever. Okay. That's going to be it for me. I hope you have a great week ahead. I hope that you have had a restful couple of days. Hopefully you've not had to work if you were in America. Because let's be honest, not everybody celebrates American Thanksgiving. Some of my stitchy friends in Canada and stitchy friends across the globe are like, I want a break. And I was like, I feel super blessed to be a teacher who gets to be at home with her kiddo this week. And same at Christmas time. So with that, I'm going to sign off. And I'm going to tell you have a great week. Have some awesome stitching time, some you time. Do what makes you happy, brings you joy. And I will see you next Friday for my next floss tube, floss tube number 30. Wow. We're on, we had number 29 on the 29th. I still think that's really cool. And I'm over 500 subscribers. 500 people like watching me every week. What's wrong with y'all?
No, I'm just kidding. That was really rude. Um, anywho, have a great one. Talk to you soon. Bye.